Engine 54, fire dispatch. Go ahead. We have a 16-year-old female who's waiting in front of the youth center wearing maroon leggings. Calls to 911 started coming in almost immediately. In a long sleeve shirt who's complaining of not feeling well. Right after, Sacramento County started housing foster care youth ages 12 to 17 at a former juvenile detention facility last August. It came in onto my radar pretty quickly. Sacramento Metro Fire Marshal Barbie Law, her team of inspectors and firefighters have seen firsthand the troubling activities inside the Warren E. Thornton Youth Center at 4000 Branch Center Road. Engine 62, Medic 62. Violent crime assault. It's been very concerning and alarming for the responders as well as the inspectors that have been going out. KCRA 3 investigates requested calls for service from August of 2022 to April of this year and found 81 calls. And when you know you're dealing with kids in a population, it isn't what we normally would see. The calls include 14 assaults, 22 calls for complications with alcohol or drugs, 25 medical calls, three fires, one girl in labor, and 17 false alarms. Law says many are triggered by clouds of marijuana smoke setting off the alarm system. How much marijuana smoke does it take to set off a smoke detector? I will tell you that from what our inspectors and firefighters said, the smoke was very heavy in there. I know that at least one of our inspectors filed an exposure report after being in the building. Law says they've also encountered teens using hard drugs. At one point, there were reports of kids doing cocaine in the facility. She reports numerous calls for assaults on staff and fights between teens, and crews have even found foster care youth outside the facility. Essentially, they've they've left, and some of them are considered AWOL, um, and we found them out intoxicated in the community. Um, you know, injured. The problems grew so bad, the county signed this contract for five and a half million dollars with the sheriff. 18 people would provide security through 2025. The county has always insisted the facility was for short temporary placement, 24 to 48 hours. But law says crews repeatedly saw the same children. It's delays of up to one to three months before some of them are able to be placed somewhere. Law says she had no choice but to file complaints with the state against the agency that would normally investigate these types of calls. If we were res to respond out into the community to a home and saw the amount of marijuana smoke and drinking and, and drugs going on in a location, um, we would be required as mandated reporters to notify Child Protective Services. And she doesn't like the message it sends to the community. It says that something's broken in our system and our safety net for taking care of our children in Sacramento County. Michelle Bender also reports the county has until June 16th to find new housing. Each day past that date, the state will find the county $200 per day per child.